Okay guys, after a lot of discussion and a lot of prayer, we want to share a decision with you. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. Live simple. Live free. Well, guys. You see it? We did it. We put a contract on it and it has been accepted. Isn't that incredible? And, and I got to show you my tree. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can show you my beautiful big tree in the yard. I love trees. <laughs> it has a metal roof. It looks like it's in decent shape. Soffit. The soffit. The skirting is kind of tattered like this all the way around the whole thing. The metal ramp in the front. <laughs> there she is, sitting underneath of that huge live oak that she likes so much. There's more of the tattered skirting. Siding all looks in good shape. It needs a paint job. Now this is inside the carport. You come down that door which goes into the kitchen and I'm told that there's a washer and dryer inside of here. So you'd have to come outside to get to that because it's Florida. It's never cold. So, But that door is locked. I can't get in there to see what the utility room looks like. Okay, so we got the key to the laundry room, and it's a basic laundry room. The washer and dryer is included. Looks like it's old, but for now, if it works, then we won't have to replace it immediately. There's the hot water heater. This is not a new system, obviously, but apparently it's a working HVAC system, heat and air. There's no power on in the house right now, so I can't test it out. The windows are all aluminum with screens in it. Good side shed right here on the back of the property. I could even park my motorcycle in here if it didn't have a carport that I could use. And I can feel the peace here. Yeah, not like those ones in the city. Yeah, I, I, it's peaceful here to me. I was not at peace on those, but I can just exhale and it, it's peaceful here. I don't see any kind of access door to get underneath of this. I'm assuming it's on piers because it has the surround around it like a mobile home does. But here you can see that's about a foot. And this back corner, it's about three feet. So there's plenty of room. There's a panel that's a different color. You can probably just take, yeah, we can get through there. To take a look underneath. So standing here at the front door, this is original hardwood floor, it looks like. Um, it, says, it says they are. Very nice, large, I guess, living room and I guess dining room. The kitchen's in there with a pass-through window for a dining table here. Nice wide uh, wall, uh, hallway. It appears the electricity is not on because none of the lights work, but the water is on. 
Dishwasher maybe right there. There's no dishwasher in here. That goes out to the carport. But this is a nice kitchen. Three bedrooms. kitchen which is pretty dark. Looks like it's a shower rather than a tub, which is fine. I don't take baths anyway. The HVAC is inside here. There's the vent, but that door's locked. You can't get into it. So we can take these hinges off to get into it and see the HVAC system. Okay, so obviously now we're home again. We're not in Florida anymore. Yeah. And um, I, so I want to just very briefly ad address the timing of these videos because I think a lot of people don't realize that most YouTubers have their videos delayed two or three weeks at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so the trip that we took to Florida was actually a week before Thanksgiving. So we've been home since Thanksgiving. We've been home for th three weeks now. Uh, and it's just taken us that long to get the videos out. Right, right. So um, we're, we're current time now. Yeah, right now we're current because, you know, uh, and doing the end of this video because I actually just uh, messed up my knee two days ago and so I'm still hobbling around on crutches. Yeah, he's got the crutches right there by the yeah. Christmas tree. So anyway, uh, <laughs> so there's that, you know. So people, a lot of people have told us in the comments um, when, in the house hunting, it seemed like half the people there just really loved our idea. They were excited for us. They were excited for us to move to Florida. And then about a half the people just kind of gave us all kinds of um, suggestions suggestions, and yes. of reasons why we shouldn't do this. <laughs> so I have a whole list of, of things here, comments and questions and things that we're going to address in another video because this, yeah. this would be a whole video in itself. Yes, we do a Q&A about the whole thing. Yeah, so yeah. it would be, just be a Q&A. But um, I just wanted to address just a couple of things. Um, first of all, a lot of people said, well, why don't you just, uh, why don't you pay more for a house? Or, you know, why don't you find a condo? Or you can do better than that, or, you know, that sort of thing. I think a lot of those people that, that made those comments were probably new to our channel and or they didn't see the the last video we did where we announced that we were going to it was called um our future plans yeah yeah um where we announced how and why we were doing this and what we said in that video was that because of our debt free plan we had now have a fairly large oh and from flipping the the house the yeah. uh with Barry we now have a fairly large chunk of money in the bank that we need to get invested into something. Yeah. In fact, a number of people said this is a bad time to invest in real estate because we're facing a recession. Exactly. And a recession and high inflation is not the time to, to just keep money sitting in the bank. Right. And it's not the time to get tangled up in an expensive mortgage. Right. Yeah. So we went down there with the idea of uh, finding a house within our budget that we could pay cash and get that money out of the bank account and into a real asset where it's much safer in a high inflationary or uh, you know uh, economy so that's why we're doing this that's why we're looking at the in the area the price range that we were also a lot of people said oh these realtors are just showing you the the ugliest houses that they want to get off their plate they want to get rid of them let, let, let me tell you what really happened okay is that what yeah. you were going to say yeah. yeah um 
I have been doing hunting, hunting, hunting for a very long time on every possible MLS type thing that you can possibly imagine for, I bet you, at least a year yeah, now, yeah. at least a year. And, and I knew kind of the ballpark that I wanted to look for. I knew the areas that I really felt like I wanted to look for. Although, you know, we said earlier in a video that we actually did a big old reconnaissance tour of, of all across northern Florida from like Pensacola to Jacksonville, yeah. um, snooping in everywhere we possibly could. And um, so I've been looking and looking and looking. And um, uh, these houses, I had seen them on like MLS listings. And so I actually gave the realtor um, that list of ones that I wanted to look at. Well, you know? what we did was, yeah, we had already been looking at all of those. We had the list we wanted to see. But what we did was we gave the realtor the top amount that we could spend, and he gave us a listing of every house in the area for that price range or below, and then we picked the ones that we wanted to look at. Right, and actually there are a lot of them I've been looking at anyway, which right. is good, right. you know. Now, um, I do want to say, and this always blows my mind, um, I do want to say that that corner house, the one that we're really looking at buying now, Oh, well, yeah, I just told you in this video, we put a contract on it. Um, out of all the houses that I've been looking at for a year, that's the one I like the best. And that's you know? one of the first ones we saw. That's one of the first ones we saw. In fact, when we were down just doing the reconnaissance, that happens to be one we actually drove by. Yeah. So we saw the area, the neighborhood, yeah. um, and it had been on the market, and then it, it sold, um, and that sale fell through. And so I didn't expect it to be available. So I was pretty astounded that that turned out to still even be available. Yep. Yeah. So um, we also, well, okay, we're still talking about finances, so let's continue talking yeah, about that. Okay. So like I said earlier, this was the most expensive one, and but it was really the only one we, we liked, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But So we decided to go with it, even though it was going to end up with a very small mortgage. Now, we don't want to... One of the th one of the dangers of debt that I talk about all the time is is when you um, promise away future earnings. Yeah. The, because if you don't know if those earnings are going to come in or not, you never yes. know what's going to happen to the economy or to your job or or if you mess up your knee and you can't go to work, Ooh. you know, something like that. <laughs> yeah. So you never want to promise away future income. But what we've done is uh, we have two sources of income that we have already earned that we know are coming to us within the next couple of months. And so we're just a little bit short of buying it. So we put this small mortgage on it, knowing that we'll be able to pay it off probably within four months, five months, something like that. Yeah, that's that's the estimate. Yeah. When these other two uh, sources of income that we've already earned come yeah. to us. Yeah, it's money that is that is already set up to come to us. So, yeah. So then yeah. We'll be, we will be debt free again. And that is our our ultimate goal. Yes. And, and if those two sources of income don't um, quite take care of the mortgage, we think they will. But if we if they don't, then we're going to make triple and quadruple payments, which we can do because it's a very low mortgage. Very uh, low. <laughs> payment. <laughs> yes. And we don't have any other mortgage. And then we'll polish it off very quickly. So yeah. that is our debt-free plan. We're using this small mortgage kind of like a... <clears throat> kind of like a, a crutch. <laughs> to get us over this short period of time until that rest of that money comes in. <laughs> so, um, okay, so a lot of people mentioned the crime, the crime rate. I was astounded at how many people said, don't move to Florida, there's a lot of crime in Florida. Really? I mean, as if there's any more crime in Florida than in any other state, or yeah. in the town we're looking in than in any other town. Every state has bad crime areas. Every town has bad crime areas. It's just a matter of researching them and looking at them and deciding, you know, the area you want to buy in. So a lot of the houses that we looked at that looked great on the MLS, we said we wanted to get there. And then when we got there, we found out that the neighborhoods didn't look so good, which a lot of you people said. Yeah. The neighborhoods didn't look so good. Um, yeah, I mean, houses that were literally kind of falling down um, you know, a lot of houses that were in really, really bad shape, um, which well, tends to attract. Anyway. Well, in the neighborhood themselves, you when you walk, you when you drive through them, they were just kind of run down, and it's like the two that we looked at with that had been renovated were the nicest houses in the neighborhood because they had yeah. just been renovated. Which isn't a good idea for an investment. And it just <laughs> didn't give us a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. But then we, when we went into the one that we're buying now, which was the last one we looked at was actually the first one we were interested in. Yeah. 
it's in a different area. It's away from those uh, questionable neighborhoods. <coughs> it's much more out. Uh, yeah, it's out away from town a ways. Yeah. It's quiet. It's peaceful. The other houses aren't right in, uh, you know, all around. We got a lot of room around us. Yeah. Can, can I tell them what happened when I was sitting by my tree? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was just, I just love the live oaks. <laughs> anyway, I was just sitting out enjoying that tree. And it was kind of cool to me because I'm not saying we've met anybody in that area that was mean. I mean, everybody's been really nice. But it was pretty cool just sitting there, obviously, um, at a house that neighbors would know has been for sale. But anyway, about four or five different vehicles and pickups and stuff just pulled around and pulled past me. And every single one of them, someone either gave a gentle little horn honk to say hi or reached their hand up and waved. Mm -hmm. I thought, that's cool. <laughs> it was just very friendly. You know? We also went out there at night. Yes. We, and we, that, just, we did that with, before people even suggested Yeah, a lot of you suggested that, yeah. but we had already done that. And we... Uh, Pulled into the driveway. We just sat there for a while. We opened the windows. Rolled the windows down. Did we yep. get out and walk around? I can't yeah, remember. we did. We just did. at least a little bit. It was very quiet, very peaceful. Yeah. No, no party houses in the area. Mm -mm. You know, no rowdiness. No thumpa 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 cars. <laughs> <laughs> or rum, rum, rum. <laughs> so, we decided on that one. We liked it the most anyway, but it was also by far in the best neighborhood. Yeah. And um, also, we know for a fact. That that house has been vacant for a year. Yeah, because, because it, the people that owned it moved out. Moved out, and yeah. we know about when they did that. And so the house has been vacant for a year. There has been no vandalism on it. Um, there's no mold growing inside it. A no. lot of people said if you keep everything shut up in in Florida, you'll have mold. There's that's we got none of that. Yeah, you can see the pictures. You can yeah. see the video. Yeah. Um, I one of the things I always look at carefully is the ceiling. Because, you know, um, you can tell, especially because it's pretty obviously the original ceiling, just like it's original walls, um, that if there's been leaking and mold building and stuff, you'll see it uh, like in corners and the edges of the ceiling. And this was all very, was very pristine. And I don't mean pristine because somebody slapped on some paint. Um, it looked uniform mm -hmm. and very pristine. So I always like to see that, you know. So anyway. <laughs> um, one other thing. I want to mention I'm kind of going back a little bit and covering something else, else here on the Q&A that I should do in the next video. But <laughs> a lot of people who didn't know our philosophy and didn't know that we had a big chunk of money that we were trying to invest somewhere said, you need to just rent an Airbnb every, every year. Just go down there and get an Airbnb. Well, do you know how expensive that is? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that the cost of maintaining a house down there, a second home, is going to be really expensive. Just rent an Airbnb. Well, yeah, it would cost us more, probably twice as much, to rent an Airbnb down there for three months as it will to maintain all the insurances and lawn care and all that kind of stuff. On Taxes, this, on all this that house stuff. For yeah. an entire year. Oh, yeah. So, laying aside the investment which we have this money we want to invest anyway, but laying aside the investment, the monthly expenses for a year are actually cheaper than an Airbnb for a few months. If people, if, if not, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if everybody hasn't necessarily been following all along, you know, with us, um, but the, it might be hard for people to realize how long we have tried to get down to Florida for at least a period of time in the winter. Um, it's going to be very good for me to get into the warm air. Every time we have been down there, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel gooder. You know, I really do. And um, so we have tried the RV route. Two things. I'll just say this very quickly. You would not believe how complicated it can it can be to find some place to stay in an RV. Um, there are there are some lands there that are free to boondock on for like two weeks. But to, we're talking about really seriously, not just vacate, va vacationing down in the South, but we really want to be there for like three months at a shot. I really need to try to be gone right around the whole January, February, March time. Um, and so it is very, very difficult to book places um, because they're gone in a heartbeat. As soon as they become available, they're gone. Mm. And um, and then, of course, we ran into issues with trying to have the maintenance on the vehicle to take it down there, all that stuff. The RVing thing just was not working out for us. It turned out to be considerably more expensive. 
than what we're doing now. <laughs> oh, in, it, in the long run. In the long run, and, yes. And the, the, the truck and the trailer that you buy to do that is a depreciable asset, so it's going to devalue, whereas... You know, I mean, right now the housing market is in a slump, so the, the prices will probably drop a little bit uh, yet, you know, still, but not like a, a truck will. Well, yeah, I mean, the, a, a truck and an RV are not an asset. Right. They are, um, in accounting terms, a liability, um, depending on how much you owe on them or whatever. But um, the, it's just, it's property, you know. Um, but real estate has value intrinsically. Right. You know, and we are able to get, we wanted to mention, we're getting this house after the slump had already kind of started happening. So, I mean, I feel like we're getting a very good, uh, a very good price mm -hmm. on the house from all the looking around we've done. But anyway, um, so the whole RVing thing down there just did not turn out to be as, as simple as it kind of seems like it would be if you want to be down there for extensive periods of time. Unless maybe a person buys a piece of land to put the RV on. Um, but... If you're going to do that, um, yeah, but a lot of people actually suggested that. And first of all, that's not a. I mean, the land the land is an is an appreciable asset, but you still have to have the RV, and then you still have all the expense of maintaining the RV and all well, that kind of stuff. And the tow vehicle. And the tow vehicle is <laughs> yes. the main thing. We yeah. had two different tow vehicles, and each one of them we put a new engine in, and the other one of them just. I mean, we spent thousands on that. We just got tired of it. Just this is ridiculous. Right. Let's get rid of all that and buy a house. Well, and and. Um, when we when we weren't sure what we were going to be doing, but for the sixth year, we have tried to get down to Florida. Finally, we did go down last year for a couple of weeks with motels. You know, we, we you know you saw that we went to St. Petersburg and to St. Augustine. I felt so good down there. I absolutely loved it. And then we went down and looked around all over the place to see what we would like. Um, but um, we went ahead and and um, our, you know tried to start setting ourselves up with an Airbnb. So I started researching that, and. Um, it's Airbnb is a wonderful idea. It's a wonderful idea. But if you're going to spend three months <laughs> in a place that has a high tourist turnover, a high amount of tourism, um, it, it, it may cost a little bit less than being in a motel all that time. Or it may be wonderful because you have a kitchen, you don't have to eat out all the time. But it is expensive um, if you just do it year after year after year. Yeah. And so... Once we can make an initial investment in the house, try to get one that's going to feel like be a good investment um, and just hang in there with it, get the thing paid for, then then you're left with, um, you know, uh, just like any place else, taxes and insurance, um, maybe getting the lawn mowed in the summer, you know, um, uh, some utility, maintenance utilities, that have to kind of keep going. I like the fact that this has a new septic because we won't be paying sewer, you know, and it's got a fairly new septic system. But anyway, um, we just thought, you know what, once we have this thing squared away, then whenever we want to go down there for however long we want to stay, it's just there. We can just, oh, and people are saying, how far away is it? One full day drive away. Yeah. One so we can just decide, full day. we can just decide to, to leave after church on Sunday and spend the rest of it, get, get in at midnight, you know, yeah. spend the week down there, come back on Saturday. Nobody at church will even know we were gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, um, if, you know, if there is maintenance that comes up on the house, um, yes, I really, we're trying to start out with something that is in as good a shape as we can manage without having to spend the normal a lot more money that houses are down there. People kept saying you should buy something new or get yourself, a, you know, a, a nice mobile home or go into a nice 55 plus community. Well, we'll address all that in the next. We will. Q &A. We will. Yeah. But the the point is that yes, we will own this house. There may be some maintenance that has to come up, but bet, between Bill and very much having our son in our family, I feel like we're going to be able to handle stuff like yeah. that. You know, and of course we know they know they're welcome to have fun there anytime they want, you know, anyway. So, so there are two more videos I have planned so far about this house um, coming up soon. Yeah. Uh, when we bought the house, we the, in the contract, it was, ex we offered it, did I say, I forget, we offered less than what they were asking and they did accept our yeah. offer. Yeah. Um, but then in the contract, we had a seven day inspection period where we could inspect, inspect the house for the next seven days and then um, back out of the offer if we didn't like what we saw. Can so, I say something else real quick? People are going to ask about this. Um, in, 
in all fairness to everybody, we also had a contingency on the buying of this house on the big house completely selling. Oh, selling our renovation yeah, house. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they accepted that. That's that's normal. Yeah. You know that that sales going through beautifully, but we made it a contingency because we didn't want to get stuck with two mortgages. Yeah. The final sale for our renovation flip house happens in just a few days. Yeah. And then the purchase of the Florida house happens after that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, go ahead with what you're saying about the inspection. So yeah. So. After our trip down there, we I, we came back up. I brought Elizabeth back up, and then the next day, Barry and I left to go back down again, yeah. and because he wanted to see the house, he wanted to do an inspection, and I was happy to have him because I knew that he would do a much more thorough inspection than I uh, would. So the next video will be Barry and I going down to do a much deeper inspection of the house, and then we also have the Q and A uh, video that I just told you we're going to do with about 15 questions and comments here that you guys have so um, i i'm just so glad that barry could go down there for one thing mm -hmm. he's protective of us and for another i don't know anybody that is more particular that something be done right right if you guys have watched the videos about the the house we just you know renovated with barry um he meant i mean i don't care if nobody ever sees the work he did he did it right mm -hmm. you know so he you know he's very very thorough so, I mean, we want to go into this with at least some wisdom, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and by the way, by the time we put out the first uh, house hunting video, and a lot of you guys said, don't do it, we had already put a contract on it. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> and had it accepted. Yeah. So, it was already a done deal. Um, but we put so much due diligence in, guys. We really yeah. tried. And a lot of the things that you guys suggested that we check out, we did. This yeah. isn't our first rodeo. So. Yeah. And we, and we certainly haven't done everything perfect. And there's certainly things we don't know about because you don't know what you don't know. But we really tried our best to do due diligence. Yep. <clears throat> and I've been down there enough in the winter to know how I feel down there. Um, and to see how bad are the mosquitoes in the winter. And, you know, and I, I recognize there's cockroaches down there as big as a horse. Um, I know that. I know that there's alligators around. <laughs> I know that but we've really tried to make the best decision that we could, um, you know, and like I said, this, this is going to mean leaving. I, oh, I love where we live here in Virginia. I love it here, but this is going to mean leaving a cold winter to go down to a cool spring. You know, it's not as hot in Northern Florida as it is farther down in the winter. I know that, but I'll be going into much better weather for me than the, the real cold so i'm just grateful anyway <clears throat> i said that plenty of times yeah you have <laughs> <laughs> sorry so there it is we've bought a house yeah. we haven't closed on it yet that'll be coming soon yeah, it's coming and, up uh, we're very excited and of course you know these other videos that we have planned for it and we continue to take you along on the process mm -hmm. and please understand that most youtubers most videos cannot be right current it's too much work um to get them ready and you just you have well, to we also usually have them in the pipeline for several weeks in advance yeah. so it's not like oh it's thursday night we got to have our video up friday morning what are no, we going to do no. you, <laughs> you have to plan ahead be prepared ahead yeah. and figure out what you're going to do so that you don't suddenly ah we have nothing to put out what are we going to do yeah right, right. so there you go thanks for watching yes live simple live free you be blessed all right we love you guys thanks for coming along bye-bye <laughs> okay,